What's up South fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So by the thumbnail of this video you know that we are doing a little unboxing today in a collaboration with Max Beating Ross. So we are going to unbox a turbo and this turbo is for the NG95 2.0 turbo. So it's for the Turbo 4. And this turbo also fits a lot of other GM brands like the Insignia with the same engine, uh, Buick Regal and a few others. So I will link down to the product in the description box below. And you can see by yourself which engines and what cars that this turbo will fit. So the OEM turbo is highly expensive. So I think this will be a really nice option to go with because this costs less and necessarily it isn't worse than the OEM. So I think this will be a really nice like upgrade if your turbo has done its time and it's time to change it or if you want to upgrade it. So let's unbox this and in the end of this video I'm going to do a little giveaway in collaboration with Max Peeding Rods. So if you are interested in the giveaway, you should wait until the end. Nice little decal to put on a car. A brochure. So, a couple of flanges to go with the turbo. And I don't have any experience with their turbos yet, but the experience I have with Max Speeding Rods is great so far. I have used their coil coilovers on another build. And for the cost, it's very high quality, I would say. So it comes very well packed. So this is a really nice touch up, you can see this wrap right here, I think this is like rust protection wrap to protect the machine flanges. Judging by the looks of everything, it looks fantastic. 
and I have spun the wheels around a little bit as you do when you get a new turbo to play around with it a little bit and it feels really really solid if I should complain about something it could be the fettling of the casting it could have been a little bit better but this is also an issue on the OEM turbos or not an issue but if you're like me and most other builders you want to have like maximum performance so all of these little small edges you want to like fettle away so you get the optimum and maximum flow but the surface of the casting is really nice I do not see any like porosity or anything like that no casting defects and the machining is really nice for being what it is as I said it's not that much money in this in this turbo, I think the OEM turbo, like new, I think it's like, I don't know if it's like five, six, seven times the price of this one. So, and here you got everything, including so you get the wastegate, the blow off valve, and you got the boost controller. So that might be a thing, sometimes these boost controllers work great and sometimes they fail. So if this is an issue, this is not hard to switch out to an OEM one, but this will be a really nice upgrade in the future. And I have worked with a lot of turbos before and the exhaust housing on this turbo is like huge the outlet is so big so here i can definitely see some improvement being done and i know that for a fact that a lot of people have upgraded these turbos by machining the compressor housing and switching the the compressor uh, wheel to a bigger one and to a billet one and i think this would be a really good upgrade because this turbo I think it's good for like 300 plus horsepower but if you change the wheel I think you can reach like 400 ish and how cool wouldn't that be to have like an NG95 pushing 400 horsepower I think this would be something for the future definitely so in collaboration with max beating rods I will give away one 30% off coupon code so one of you will get a discount code if you just type boost in the comments down below and follow me on Instagram that's the criteria to be entering this giveaway and also in the comment box below I will give away a 5% discount if you use the code JK design and you will get 5% off anything on maxbeatingrods.com and uh, this looks really nice so i'm really hyped about the future of this car and uh, this will be a really nice upgrade for sure in the future and as of right now it's three weeks out from the sub festival and i don't have the car right home right now and i have so many upgrades to do up until the sub festival so I think I'm going to pause the YouTube series and the videos because I need to focus on getting the car ready. So hopefully, hopefully I will see you there at the South Festival. Until then, have a nice one. Bye.